Hi everyone, it's Paul Sidorian from InfoSec World in Orlando, Florida, here with Eddie Bobritsky from Minerva Labs, no stranger to the Security Weekly show. Uh, Eddie, you were on our Startup Security Weekly. It's nice That's to right. sit with you today. Thank you very much. Thank you for uh, having me here. Thank you. Yes. It's nice to have you here. I've got some questions for you. I think right. we're probably going to chuck these out the window once we get started after the first one. <laughs> Where should people focus their efforts, Eddie, in protection, detection, and reaction? And if you have to do all three, like how do you prioritize all, all three of those? So from my point of view, I like to look at the security in the layers approach and also kind of add the timestamp uh, uh, point of view on it. So in the layers, you have to, to have something in each layer. So once you're building your, you have the network layer, and if you're speaking about more about endpoint security, it's our space. So it's like you have the detection layer, you have the patch management mm -hmm. layer, you have the, you have the um, incident response layer, you call it, right? It's post-breach attacks. Uh, and you have the prevention layer that we kind of like very focusing on this one. Mm -hmm. uh, but also from the time point of view, right? You need something to have that trying to deal with attacks before infection, during the infection, and post-infection. Right, right. And I think once you created this kind of module, like trying to find the sense between of them, you can actually pick the right solutions in each place, and it will create eventually, you know, together you each, each achieve more, right? So together you'll have very high level of security. Uh, and sometimes, uh, you know, I, I saw customers that have Multiple endpoint solutions are solving pretty much the same problem, mm -hmm. uh, or multiple network solutions same pretty much the same problem. So it's like good salespeople. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, in terms of compliance, uh, is compliance security, or how do we work compliance into security? I know in your space, are there compliance regulations, or uh, is just having the protection on the systems? just kind of takes compliance right out of in, in your particular industry? So I think compliance is very important to kind of like to have a baseline, right? We are, uh, we are globalized, everything is everywhere, uh, uh, no actual physical borders. Uh, so we need to have compliance. But I think compliance cannot be too much detailed because each organization is very different mm -hmm. from each other. And even if it's the same industry, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you have different challenges. For example, you have a bank with uh, branches on five continents and I have a bank, just local bank in the United States. We're both, uh, like, you know, there have regulations, but again, uh, different challenges. Mm. Uh, so I think it's very important to have compliance and uh, uh, I think we'll see more of it. What are some of the common qualities that you found in organizations that have had a breach? They don't have your software, is number one. <laughs> this for sure. <laughs> I was thinking how to say it. <laughs> well, that, I know you, but that is your, that is your software, right? Is uh, you're preventing that, that, that's right. that infection. Yeah, um, that's right. No, but, but uh, other than that, like what characteristics do you think uh, where people call you up and like, hey, we're hacked, we need something, we need your software? I, I, I tell you what, uh, I think the greatest challenge is that Agree with me that today the ability of any enterprise, any organization, to deal with cyber attacks, it's actually the ability of their incident response team, their security team, to connect the dots fast enough. And we see a lot of cases when the dots win there, right? Uh, target that uh, they saw the, the alert before, but nobody paid enough attention to it. So, and we have like you know we have more and more devices connected, more and more alerts generated, and then we have less human resources, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, Gartner predicts it's going to miss like a lot of people, like 1.5 billion, I think, by the end of 2020. Uh, um, and it's crazy, right? So this is why we believe, and this is our main agenda in Minerva, that you should focus on prevention solution that can reduce dramatically the amount of events that your team have to analyze and to work on, because simply by that you can increase their effectiveness, right? So. Uh, uh, from my point of view, this is very important focus uh, of the industry of, of prevention. And you can see that we're approaching customers that um, in most of the cases, they saw it. They saw it, but they didn't find out. They didn't, they, they didn't manage to connect the dots. Uh, it was too late. Uh, or they have this new system that they don't know how to operate it well enough. Mm. Uh, if you remember the last conversation, I told you that um, the longer you have security tool in place, the better you operate it, the faster you operate it, mm -hmm. and time is the most important thing in security. Right, right. right. So, 
this. No, I, I like how you phrase it as cutting through the, you know, cutting down on the noise. Yeah. So they can make, it adds value to the other tools and processes in your That's environment. Right. That's so. right. Like, you know, if you can reduce the number of events, you should do it, right? Without chasing it, without trying connecting the dots. Mm -hmm. Just focus your team on things they think they should focus. Awesome. Eddie Bobritsky from Minerva Labs. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Thank you.